Okay, so um, what I'm going to talk about today is um, a process of how I make some of my paintings. And these are some of the ones that I've made in the past. So this is just canvas board. But um, yeah, I did this one, I think, first lockdown. And if you can see, as I hold it up, it's quite textured and that gives it a really nice kind of tactile look to it. Um, so there's that one and then I carried on exploring the uh, technique with this and you can see there it's got loads of texture on it and it just makes it look really three-dimensional and really nice. So how do I do this which is what a lot of people ask me okay the first thing that I used was just plain old <laughs> you like this this is my palette it's just plain old acrylic and this is pretty much where I got the idea from um, <clears throat> as I was using palettes and stuff like that I kept painting over the kind of lumps and bumps and things like that and I thought one day how nice it looked and it'd be cool to do a, a picture like that. So that's what I did to start with. I just used black acrylic and just put that on heavily, but that's quite expensive and um, it's good. I mean, I liked the results that I got, but um, <clears throat> I think, I can't remember how I jumped onto this, but I started using... Um, this stuff which is acrylic matte gel that's Windsor and Newton that one I think I told somebody today that I use Liquitex but um, sorry I was wrong I didn't lie I just forgot honest so anyway yeah um, before I got to this one I tried this thing out uh, I got this stuff for another purpose this is Mod Podge which is kind of I don't know why the hell it's called that. It doesn't even look particularly quadrophenia related or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I got that for trying to transfer images onto wood, but it didn't work so well. So. Anyway, um, this one that I showed you, this one, this was done with Mod Podge. Now, Mod Podge is okay. It's pretty good. But um, it's got a very sort of buttery kind of uh, texture. And it dries clear as well, which means it's quite difficult to see um, what you know where everything is, and you know it, it's it's okay. It wasn't you can use it, but it, it's not my preference. My preference is this stuff because it's got a nice consistency to it. I'll just show you a bit of it. I don't know why, but you might want to see it. So. Mm, no. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's basically. You can use this for a number of things, but this is what I use it for. So, um, I did paintings with this, and they look nice. And then I thought it might be nice to do a box. So I've got this one. And I've already drawn on it. This this is a cheap one for about two quid from the works. You can get these things like all sorts of different shapes and hearts and fucking triangles, all sorts of shit. If not, um, you can get something a bit nicer from um, eBay. There's loads of blank wooden boxes on there, or pencil boxes and whatnot. Um, so anyway, this is what I've got for this. So what I'm going to do is, you see this, right, so I divided up the, the hexagon into segments, I don't know if you can see that, why it's a bit weird, there you go. So I divided up the hexagon, hexagon into segments. What I want to do is create a, an optical illusion here where this edge part is the most forward, that's on the viewer's level, and it looks as if it's receding down into this central hub, kind of like a, a sea urchin or something like that. Um, 
and this is going to be like glowing so you're going to have all the, the light source coming from the center here and around the edges there so that's what I've done there these are going to be coming out from this glowing center as getting all glare on it from this glowing center as well um, I've re roughly repeated the pattern because I want it to be organic it doesn't have to be you know perfectly symmetrical or anything like that tried to incorporate the hinges here we'll see how that pans out not sure about that just yet but there you go yeah so it's the same thing all the way around so you've got a nice repeating pattern it's a bit like a picture box from the 70s this isn't it anyway if you're old you'll know what that is if you're not tough shit check it out anyway so yeah um i'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a speeded up video um once my ipad is charged and uh, i'll see you in a bit cheers okay so this is the box all prepared we've got all the medium on the spokes there nicely applied with the old pallet knife um, what i need to do now is make texture on it that will make it look more like biomech which is ribbon now there's several ways i can do this we can do use this little thingamajig i've got this and i could just go like that i can already feel it's starting to dry a bit now that's okay but um it's not really giving me the look that I want. I'll use this later on for detailing, I think. Okay, so I've just smoothed that out a bit more. So what I do is get the edge of the palette knife like that. Slight angle. And just make these kind of repeated patterns with it. That's not really worked all that well, but you get the idea. There we go. Another one. Um, another one here. If, because um, I'm struggling a bit with the um, flexibility of the pallet knife here, just hold it a bit closer to the blade and there we are uh, don't worry if it's not looking all that great to your eyes to start with because later on all of these tiny tiny little marks will be rendered with paint as organic texture if you want to do biomech you can do whatever the fuck you like of course <clears throat> so yeah I'm going back in with this thing now um, right let's just create some more depressions here that's it a bit more move it about a bit get the flow going it's all about the flow um, there we go it's looking more Giga-esque by the minute. So, this is kind of a really nice, spontaneous sort of texture. As I say, I don't know how it's going to come out. You just play about with it, let it happen. And you can see... I've done these already, like Blue Peter style. So what you have to do after you've done all that is unfortunately wait. You have to, well, I put mine in an airing cupboard, let them dry overnight, and then it just hardens nicely, and um, then you're ready to paint, which will be the next bit. Cool. First stage is like the Rolling Stones said, paint it black.
okay so there it is all painted black um, I got a bit bored with waiting so I did round the edges as well there you go all dry so now I've decided I'm going to do the center so for this I'm using uh, I don't know if you can see where is it there crimson permanent rose um, cadmium yellow <coughs> Naples yellow and ultramarine for a bit of darkening so really what I want to get is like the effect of a sort of a ball of lava in the center there and um, radiating the light outwards and hopefully continue that effect onto the edges there. So, here we go. center here is uh, pretty much done I'll probably noodle away on it for a bit more um, as you can see it's, it's come out pretty well got the nice kind of glowing <coughs> volcanic look to it which is of course enhanced by all this black stuff but that's not going to stay like that for very long um, so yeah uh, the next stage which was can you, there, there we are so you can see I'm getting that real kind of 3D look here by using the different planes of colour. So the closest to us is this bit. Well, this bit, actually. But um, and the middle ground is here. And then we're getting into the, the kind of <coughs> lighter area, which is the glowing centre. Um, I need to redo this because I want it all to be sort of flowing in this direction because you got this kind of spiral here so if you have one going out like that it's a nice contrast and it gives this kind of um, vortex look to it but um, yeah so anyway um, here we go again
So here it is, the finished article. And it's come out, come out okay actually. I quite like some of it. Particularly like these bits because of the depth effect, which is really what I wanted to achieve. So, you know, many hours of work gone into this because it's obviously, as usual, I thought it was going to be pretty quick and easy, and it really wasn't. It took a lot of work, and I got really too far into it. So yeah, um, probably going to do another one of these because I feel like this was more of an experiment than an actual finished piece, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.